Howdy partners, my name is Vec and welcome back to Let's Play Fran Bo. Now this will be episode 12 that I've done in the series, and as always we are just going to pick it back up right where we left off last time, where we were, going to walk us back to it. I was stuck trying to get this last key that I need, which is I think the key to room 103. Let's see. Yeah. This key right here. And somebody told me that I actually need to go back to, I think, room 101. Because I did forget that I left a man in there after I told him that I would take care of his Kamala problem. And I believe that I have what I need to do it now because... Them dudes... Don't do so well with water. And I do have water balloons. And I think... I have to pelt this man over here. Oh, beans. Did I miss him? Fran. Okay. Was that all it took? Okay, just the one. All right. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy that you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A big ol' stick. A piece of me. You can you can plant it if you like. Haha, <laughs> thank you sir, I gotta go now, I have to find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. I would have completely left him out there and been confused for like, a year. Okay. So I think if we go back to 102... I love this big freaking cat over here, he's just perfect. Go back up here. We can probably just use this stick to get the key down. Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Awesome, Fran. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That was so much easier than I was making it out to be. Like, I was for some reason just convinced that it was the key on that little monkey box thing in the other room. Okay, cool. Let's try it. 103 hacked, we are in. I wish we weren't in. Okay. Oh, the tree's talking to me. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? It's Mother Mabuka for you, you arrogant little infant. I'm 11, so shut the fuck up. And how did you plan to wake her up, huh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He is not crazy. Oh, so you know him. I assume that you've been to Athursta. Horrid place, I must say. Too dazzling. How are you gonna say something's too dazzling? You shut up. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will probably be safe there with all of those boring creatures. This man is rude. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. I want to talk to this goat. Or this, uh, you're not a goat. What are you? Are you a goat? Yeah, you're a goat. Hello, goat. You look a bit like Remor. I, uh... I love goats. These look like human skulls. Goats are just the cutest. And I used to have a friend who raised them, and they were so funny, because you would, like, bend over, and they would just jump and stand on your back. Huh. You don't scare me a bit. I mean... Like a hog over here. I guess I can't really do a whole lot in here other than just trying to wake this woman up. What a big, beautiful face. Are you Mabuka? If yes, I must wake you up. Cogwind came up with a machine to wake you up, so be prepared. Uh, do I use it? Oh, wow, wait, hold on. Uh, let's examine it. Yeah, I mean, okay, I want to touch the heart. The floor is beating like a heart. 
Okay, cool. It feels fragile and strong at the same time. Oof! It moved! I didn't realize it was moving. Did I use it on her or on her heart? It just shot bubbles at her. I'd also be pissed off if you woke me up by shooting bubbles at me. Ah, be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Uh, excuse me, but I can't answer that for myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. I love her. Very brave. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? Uh, that would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? Uh, you mean like cutting my head open? I, I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I, uh, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. Oh. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Uh, thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside of you. Don't you know? Mabuka. You are selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Okay. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Velakis from Primeve? Prime Eve told us everything long ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? Something obscure happened? Yeah, my parents are dead. I, I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? Oh. I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am all of the sinister, all of the darkness that you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if uh, that makes you feel any better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth that you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. This woman opened her heart for me. Can you please wake up again, Mabuka? Ugh, I have so many questions. What does it mean to be the Key Keeper? I love these funky people. Hmm. Do I know you from somewhere? Oh wait, no, no, I'm the nurse now. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where is my knitting needle, huh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are... Are you the dead nurse that I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, huh? You little beast. Take a number, would ya? And wait your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I, I don't need medical attention, I just want to find my cat. Take a number and wait, I won't repeat myself. Damn, Miss Nurse. Who is this? Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. I love the bath boy, he is my best friend. Oh, number. Cool. Number seven. Cool. Can I take another one? No. Okay. Can I go up this ladder? Oh, wait. That's the one I just came out of. I'm surprised it actually does let me go back up there. 
What you gotta say now, tree? Hush! Oh, what was his voice? I forget immediately when I leave the room. Mabuka is dreaming about you. Grinding with teeth your putrid skull, drinking your tears full of fear. She grins while the blood of your eyes please her soul. Okay, cool. I think Mabuka's just chillin' and all her followers are kinda just off their shit. Oh, it's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Ah, beans. They listen, they see, and they touch. In a way, it feels like I'm back in the Oswald Asylum. But it can't be. Or can it? Hey, kid, this is my turn now to talk with the nurse, alright? If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat ya! Ew, you eat children. Do you know that we children are actually immature? <laughs> hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I gotta, uh, gotta give them all voices. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Huh. I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Um, excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yeah, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. <laughs> I love this man. My favorite man now. And by doing that, you could also help all of us. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? Yeah, you're older. I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. <laughs> well, I'm not sick at all. Please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. But how can you know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. <laughs> you make your question softer right now. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. That's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? <laughs> I love him. Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yeah, we actually do. We respect the differences. But who is the one who sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Nabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. What? Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go any faster. All right, thank you for nothing. Can I just, can I just touch the clock? I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. <laughs> I mean mood. You see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Ugh. Waiting was fun at the beginning. Now it's just boring. Wait. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. Okay. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Oh, okay, cool. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Then would you give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay. 
I miss my special pills that gave me special nightmare vision. Shoo, it's not your turn yet. Huh. Oh, uh, I guess I could just go talk to the all-seeing eye. If I can get back out of here, right? Yeah. Okay, I think he was in 104? Or I guess she was in 104? I don't remember the voice I gave to it. I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers from? He's in the waiting room. Waiting! Let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but... Is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill his bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now, everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible, and I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and she won't answer all my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Athirsta and be happy. Aww. Lovely pain, so profound. Okay, cool. Thanks for everything, babe. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go on. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Cool, 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 cool. Take me back, back to the waiting room. Yeah, okay. My man's still here. Cool. Here, drink this and you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Ha <laughs> ha, how lovely. Let's see. Slurp. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more! No, fuck you. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, here you go. Sweet. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Thank you, sir. I mean, he was nice enough, you know. Uh. Oh, cool. My turn. Shit, it's not your turn yet. It is two. <laughs> Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all that we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. This is this is just like America. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty. Uh, don't worry, that's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their minds instead. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Nah, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. <laughs> I hate this. Ugh, all right, I'll go and make the call then. I don't remember where the phone is. There's gotta be a phone somewhere around here, right? Or do I have a phone? I definitely don't, right? No. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna look around all the little places. See if I can find a telephone. Well, there's Bath Boy. No phone over here. I love Bath Boy. Hi, Bath Boy. My bestest friend. Um... 
Maybe just in... Oh wait, no, this just goes over here, doesn't it? Oh wait, no, yeah, here's fun. Cool. Do I have to type it in? Okay. Oh, hello? Yes, you told me to call and make an appointment? Uh, it's Fran Bo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I- I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute, then. Great, great, thank you. Bye, yes, bye. Phone calls really do just be like that. I think I just go straight back. What is she knitting? Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Franbo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Is it open now? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew! Yes, yes, what a nightmare. You, you look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, uh, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Thank you. For that. Oh, it's the bitch. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain that you feel enough? You are Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. Oh yeah, what a fucking travesty. I am Remor, the Terrible Black, the Prince of Darkness. I know who you are, don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I will not allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It has to be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. I feel like my voice for him was different before, but... Oh! Shit! Aw, oh, beans. Aw, oh, don't show me that. No, it can't be! Stop it! God, okay, so here's me doing a murder and uh, creating a pentagram on the floor. I don't think she did that. I didn't do it! I didn't! It wasn't me! Stop it, please! I just don't think an 11-year-old girl could, like, cut up entire bodies that well. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. She's just stabbing him. Who? I I don't th I don't think she did it. Something's fishy here. Oh, am I supposed to click? I just thought she was taking a nap. I haven't killed my parents, I haven't! That monster wants to trick me, I know it. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. Okay. Okay, word up. Water. A tank with water. Good. I don't have anything to put it in right now. Diagrams and stuff. Human spine. Haha, <laughs> we would look so funny without skin. I love her. Photographs. Why does the brain have two sides? The 
brain has many different parts. I can't go back out here, probably. Nah. Well, okay. Down the hall. Oh, my dude. Oh, my cat. Oh, syringe. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you okay? Answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. No. Why won't you talk to me? Mr. Midnight, don't do this to me. Purr? How do I... There we go. Talk to me. Mr. Midnight, this isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You have to get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirst of my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. <laughs> Try to keep his voice and still just meow. I'll be right back. I have to help Dr. Dearn, okay? He seems to be in terrible trouble. Can we just, uh, can I just pull it? Can I just shock him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit, I can. I didn't think it would let me. Take the syringe. Can I take the jug? I don't need this. I think you probably do, though. Well, old man again, Dr. Oswald. It's a brain scan. Somebody must be really fond of brains and heads. Dr. Dearn, are you okay, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive? Sir, what do I do to wake him up? Can I just shock him again? Ouch, electric shock. <laughs> okay, what are these buttons? These buttons don't do anything. Is there, can I read the paper? No? I like that she says, she's like, I think I'll just leave it there. And then if you do it again, she does shock him again. His eyes do open when you shock him, though. But I assume I'm probably supposed to inject him with whatever's in this syringe. Maybe this will wake him up. Her little giggle. <laughs> Oof. Ugh. She put it right in his jugular? Fran, you're not... Oh, no. Uh, what was his voice? Ugh. I was recording yesterday, and I don't remember. Ah, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn. It's me, Fran. What? I can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Oswald Asylum? We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran? What happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, uh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here? We have to go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright. It wasn't a monster at all. Whatever. Just let me help you. Oh, shit. Who are- Who? Dr. Oswald? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. But I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? Ah, oh, lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend, the very same old man. At least he's honest. But why did you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. I literally didn't realize that the mom and the aunt were twins until, like, the last episode that I did or something. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. They both helped me find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yeah, of course. Remor did a great job. <laughs> oh, no. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. Did she legit kill her parents? I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor the whole time, but why... Why does he hunt me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But... 
Why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Fuck you, Oswald. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. I don't trust like that. Go with your aunt, Fran. Isn't that what you want? Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Oh, is he passed out again? I just woke the bitch up. Whatever. No. Well, that's all this bitch says. Fine. What are you doing with my cat? Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, we knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there is still one thing that we must take care of. If you drop that fucking cat, dude. This little traitor must go. No! No, kitty! Come on, Fran. Stop weeping. That cat is dead now. I don't even think that was my cat. But he was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! Ah! <laughs> she just screams. I hate you! Oh, shit. Stop it. Fran. Help! Help! Please, help! Fran said, fuck you. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Oh my god! She's 11, you didn't need to do that. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. What? I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Oh, my man! <laughs> Itward said yeet. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward. I'm the one that many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto bro. <laughs> Ecto bro. Ecto bro, ecto prote. Polanthras. Monakaist. Oh, my man. Gorska. Edward, I found him. Oh, my goodness. Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Oh, this is my man. All my dudes is here. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes. She's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light.
His eyes. I love my little my little boys. What happened? Itward? Palantris? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, you're alive! My cat! I missed you so much. Please, tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dearn? Look, this is Itward and Palantris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. You see? Can you believe me now? My man's just gonna pass out. Oh, okay. Or do that. He can't hear you. I, I think he's under the power of Mabuka now? We really gotta leave now. But, can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But, uh, what we can do is make him believe that all this was just, you know, a dream. He'll wake up and think that none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. This is very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Thank you, Palantris. Now, let's send Dr. Dearn home. Marcel Dearn, Aunum, Vecma, Sudensla, Ecto. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Oh, wait, shit. That's... Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. <laughs> Let's go now, friend. There's uh, much for you to see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Word up. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Aw, friend, you Okay. Oh, is that the end? Oh, so good. It's funky, too. I like this music. Okay, that was awesome. I'm, like, not ready for it to be over, but that was wonderful. Guys, I cannot recommend this game highly enough. I think the creators, uh... Just put like so much love and just work and just so much heart into it. I just think it's like a truly wonderful game. And even if you've seen gameplay of it, I do still think it's worth it just to, you know, play it yourself and get the full experience. I'm sure there's probably a few things that I missed going over it, so forgive me for that. But yeah, this is amazing and I do love the studio. Hell yeah, Kill Monday, yeah. She, you know, she got to go back to Ithersta, I assume, and they're just gonna live out their day chilling up there. And I support that. And I think it's a really good ending, and she deserved to be happy. Wild as shit, though. Love this game. Alright, well, that's our final episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you for taking this journey with me. And be on the lookout for you know, whatever I pick up next. Look at all these people that worked on this. Okay, okay. Credits are still rolling, but thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me. Thank you for watching every episode if you have. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And don't be afraid to give me suggestions on games that you would like to see me play. As always, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Look at that. <laughs>